All right, haunted duplex, part three. Now, it's personal. Ah, uh, I don't know about this one. The first one was good, but the second one was kind of crappy. All right, so let's recap. Four dummies in a dining room, bastardizing a Ouija board. We hear a growl come from the hallway. Uh, Gazunheit, bless you. Some ghost keeps whispering shit to me like we're in a movie theater. Hey, stop hogging all the juju bees, you dick. And then Brewer tried to fight a ghost for trying to steal all our Christmas presents. Okay, cool, got it. Incident number three, dream ghosts. Okay, it's nighttime. Me and the rehab version of Lindsay Lohan are sleeping. Now I'm knocked out. I've probably been sleeping for a couple hours at this point. I start having this very peculiar, very realistic dream. Cue the dream sequence. Ooh, look at that animation. Look out, Pixar Studios. I'm coming for you. Now, in this dream, I'm standing in the middle of my room, and I look over, and I can see myself laying there sleeping. Oh my god, I'm dreaming right now. Look at me. God damn it, I'm a handsome man. Then I look over to the corner of my room, and there's goddamn Captain Howdy himself, Mr. Black Shadow. Goddamn thing is practically a roommate at this point. I see it every goddamn week. So there it is, just hanging out, just uh, loitering in the corner of my bedroom. Now, as soon as I see this thing, I start to panic. Like, hardcore panic. Like somebody trying to barge in the bathroom while you're taking a poop type of panic. I've literally never been this scared of anything in my life. It's a goddamn black cloud for Christ's sake. I could suck that thing up with a vacuum all Ghostbusters-like. No big deal. But staring at this thing for whatever reason, it's about to give me an anxiety attack. I'm trying to scream, but since I'm so scared, it's coming out like Buh, buh. I sound like a befuddled Hank Hill. Buh. God damn it, Bobby. It's not a bad Hank Hill, right? It's passable. And I'm not just screaming in my dream, I'm doing it in real life. My ex-girlfriend wakes up, she's thinking I'm being possessed by the devil. Oh no, wake up, damn it! She's like, UFC punching me in the head. And for like 15 seconds, I can't wake up. It's full-on sleep paralysis. And I can't take my eyes off of Pazuzu, the demon over there, making me feel like a little wussy girl in a little wussy pink dress. And then finally, I snap out of it. Oh, piss! What am I, having night terrors now? I'm not a goddamn Vietnam War veteran. I shouldn't be yelling in my sleep like there's Charlie in the trees. I'm trying to explain myself that this damn ghost was inside my head. I need to file a goddamn paranormal restraining order against it. Now, this whole thing would happen a few more times. I'm dreaming that I'm in my house, black shadows in the corner of the room, Hank Hill scream. Blah! But there's one night in particular that stands out among the rest. Incident number four. Get out of my dreams and into my duplex. Get out of my dreams and into my duplex. Now, this right here, hands down, is the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. All right, it's the middle of the night, like always. It can never happen during the daytime, where it's nice and light out and safe. No, it's dark time. Everybody's sleeping in the house, including myself. All of a sudden, I'm standing in my room again, watching myself sleep. Oh crap, here we go again. But guess what? I look in the corner, no pervert shadow standing there. What a relief. Okay, maybe this is gonna be a good dream. Seems like I don't have any of those anymore. It's either a demon ghost trying to eat my soul, or or Harry and Marv are trying to break into my house. So in this dream, I walk out into the dining room and I can see out into the living room and the lights on. All right, maybe everything's gonna be all right after all. Nope, I don't think so. The light flickers out in the living room. Oh crap, there's that damn black shadow. It's coming right for me. Time to panic. Oh, oh god, oh my god. The only thing I can think to do is try to turn on the dining room light. My actual arm is up in the air. I'm in bed, pantomiming, turning on the dining room light. In my dream, this thing's getting bigger and bigger. It's morphing. Where's the goddamn Megazord when you need it? Oh piss, oh piss. Ah! Ah! What? the hell was that all about? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Holy shit. And right at this point is when things got a little too real. Because it was right at this point we heard footsteps walking in the dining room back out to the living room. Both of us heard it as clear as day. They were footsteps that sounded like they had claws on them or some shit. Like a goddamn giant Doverman walking on two feet. That's what it sounded like. Clop, 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 clop. If it was Poop City in my pants before, this must have been Poop Universe. I get my phone out again. Hello? Dude, if you want to have a rematch for our Christmas presents, I'm pretty sure that thing is in the living room and I'm pretty sure it'll beat your ass silly. I couldn't turn enough lights on in my room. I got my head pressed to the door like a man Frank. Now this was the last paranormal occurrence that's ever happened to me. We moved out of that duplex shortly after that. We took that Ouija board and we sent it with Brewer's girlfriend. Let her deal with all the demons. <laughs> 
Now all that was seven years ago. And if you don't believe any of this, I really can't blame you. If I was the one watching this crap hole of an animation, I probably wouldn't believe it either. Oh, Bruce, dude, that really didn't happen. You're smoking crack. No, I wasn't smoking crack. I couldn't even afford it back then, all right? I was living on a budget, a very strict budget. Like I said, believe it or don't. Was it a ghost? Was it a demon? Was I smoking crack? I don't know. Sorry that this wasn't like the end of a Scooby-Doo episode. Oh, it was Mr. Jenkins the whole time. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you and your stupid furry puking dog. But I do want you to take a few things away from this little stupid mini-series. Number one, Ouija boards are bad news. Play Boggle or some other shit, okay? It's far more rewarding. Number two, if you hear a noise in the middle of the night, it's probably the devil. Don't second guess yourself. And finally, number three, the most important, get your drunk ass friend some Taco Bell if he's hungry. Whole goddamn situation could have been avoided if we would have got Cody his goddamn cheesy gordita crunch. Chalupa. BruceDude.com